Good day, good afternoon, and good morning wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Choose Pinas. And this is our episode 7. Ladies and gentlemen, episode 7. We're just getting things started. And thank you so much for uh, staying with us all throughout 7 episodes. My name is Mandy. My name is Emil. Welcome today, back to Choose Pinas. Yes, today we are going to be talking to a very special person since we've been talking about food non-stop for the past few episodes. Today, we're finally going to be talking to a chef. Yay! <laughs> but before chef. we go, Mandy, I just want to, you know, notice how beautiful you are today. Oh, thank you. It, it's my Is lighting. Is there any reason behind oh. all this makeup? Uh, no, I just really wanted to look good because I know that we're going to talk about so many good things today on the show. Knowing that it's going to be about food, I just don't want to look like I'm crazy whenever, you know, he, he starts <laughs> talking about food and then I suddenly drool. At least you don't, you won't see that because my, my makeup is popping. <laughs> so, Lovely. yes, we also want to thank you guys for joining our very first giveaway last week. We um, already announced the winner. The yep. winner uh, last Friday. So, um, we're going to be talking about that later on for more... Um, for more giveaways and for more exciting stuff and offers, please do follow us on social media. That's at Mandy Nocom for me. And this uh, underscore Emiliano Romano for me. Yes, and also at FM1PH for the station. Right now, let's admit our uh, special guest today. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all welcome Chef Michael Hicks. Hi, I did. Doing uh, good. We're, pretty, we're doing pretty good. Hi, my name is Mandy and I, I, I yeah, think I mean, you know me. my partner Emil. <laughs> Yes. So it's so nice to uh, get to you know get to meet you today, Chef. Tell us about yourself. How are, how are you? How are you doing? I'm okay. Uh, still kind of working at the moment, <laughs> so just taking a quick break. Um, yeah, everything's going okay. We're so, so far, happy so to good. have you. Yeah, we're so happy to have you mm. over with your busy schedule. I bet there's so much cooking to do today. Thank you so much Absolutely. for, yeah. Thank you so much for you know for gracing us with your with your uh, wonderful presence. Um, so how's it been so far? How are things on your end? Um, up and down, uh, obviously with the start of the pandemic, um, things took a hit. But yeah, it's slowly going back up. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. Yeah, so I, Emil, I, I, I was gonna say hopefully you know, for the rest of the industry, uh, things work out as well because. You know, we're, we're all like one big team. You know, it can't just be one restaurant. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, Mike, can you tell about your story a, a little bit? Why did you end up staying in the Philippines for so long? Um, <laughs> okay, so I was working in London. Uh, met a young lady. Um, started going out with her. Oh. Then, yeah, ended up getting married. Uh, I used to come here on holiday, uh, say uh, once a year, did that for about four or five years and then decided to move out here. So uh, I'd obviously, well, obviously, but uh, I worked in other countries like before coming here. So moving out here wasn't like, that scary to me. So uh, yeah, okay, we try it. Lovely for love, I guess, for <laughs> love. You transferred to the yeah. Philippines. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have to say that now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so talking about talking about your industry, right? Which is you. So you're a chef, and you know you've been traveling around the world, cooking all over. What can you say about Filipino cuisine? I mean, what? How, how did you adapt to it? Definitely, it's um, you know a bigger different. Mm, a little bit different, but I recognize some of the flavors. You know, the, uh, other countries have like similar things. Um, but nothing too out of the ordinary. Maybe uh, just uh, the balut balut. Have you said? <laughs> um, yeah. Um, apart from that, I think yeah, I, I enjoy I enjoy most of the food. Yeah, it's just maybe the balut and uh, dinaguan. I'm not a fan. Dinaguan. All right. Yeah, same, same. Same. So we are on the same page. Mandy, you want to ask <laughs> something? Yeah, so how was your adjustment to um, all of the things here in the Philippines? Say, cooking with the people, work. Tell us about it. 
Mm. As the, the work side, like the people, uh, is is okay. Now, is because uh, I've worked abroad uh, myself, like um, like like about six different countries. So it's like, and in London we have a, a big international community, like in the in the kitchen. Now, so you so you're always meeting people from like other nationalities. Uh, it's so getting along with people like from a um, different background is like fine. You know? You find it easy. Mm-hmm. Lovely, lovely. So currently, where are you? I mean, uh, for which restaurant or chain are you part of as a chef? I'm with a shrimp bucket at the moment. Okay. I'm their uh, executive chef. Been with them for nearly two years now. Wow. Lovely, lovely. So let's go back. I, I just would like to, Mandy, if you allow, I just want to go back a bit of, you know, on, talking about the food. Because, you know, when you are a chef, Although a lot of flavor might be the same, but cooking style might be different, right? So mm-hmm. if you're the way we cook, let's see, you you in London, I come from Europe, we cook differently. How did you adjust when you know that you are in a country that somehow you have to cook dishes specific to Philippine flavor? Yeah, right? or the Filipino so, taste. Or the Filipino taste. So how was the adjustment for you? Did you have to learn the process on, you know, on certain ingredients or it just came along? You know, I, I'm not a chef, so I cook for uh, my own, but you know, <laughs> I just want to understand how a mind of a chef work in this uh, situation. Um, so I was saying before, I used to come here on holiday um, every year. I spent about two weeks here trying all the different foods, everything. So I got used to a little bit. Back home in, in London, because uh, the wife's a Filipina, she was part of a Filipino community there. Uh, one of our like friends, she would organize a yearly uh, get together for all the Filipino chefs and uh, restaurants out there. So you get to you go down there and you meet all the different like um, all the different chefs and owners and that, and you and they like do demonstrations and like for the day, like it's like big big deal, like big uh, big event. Um, so yeah, I just like got to know a little bit through there, and then obviously moving over here, got to try even more new stuff. Like, yeah, it's just like you know me, I mean, I'm like a big, I'm a big this, so I'm, yeah. I'm always eating. <laughs> you always game. Yeah I, yeah, I guess I guess we can say for a chef, you know, it's not really a big of adjustment because I, I'm sure you guys, you know, in the kitchen, you're just not looking at one aspect of the ingredient, but you're looking at an entire you know, variety of products. So, I mean, mm. it's nice to know that you pretty much adjusted. So would you say that you decided to, I mean, you've been in the Philippines for so long. Did you stay here? Are you planning to stay longer? Are you planning to stay forever? Or do you have any plans to leave? Um, I'll say definitely what, for the next five years I'm here. But Lovely. I'm, I'm, I'm always open, like, to, you know, if an opportunity arises, so, you know, like, oh, let's go work, I don't know, any, anywhere, like, if it came along, it depends, it really does depend. Yeah. The wife would be, have to be up for it as well. You know, so, <laughs> you know? Lovely, lovely. Okay, let's move on from food to places. So you've been, again, quite often sometimes. Any particular places you've been in the Philippines that you like the most? If you can I was actually talk... going to get to that. <laughs> okay, yeah. If you can name at least like three, it could be an island, it could be a place. I mean, anything that can come to mind. No, I, I'm, I'm a city boy. Uh, I don't get out <laughs> that much. Um, I think maybe Tagaytay and right. the, the Gupan. Oh. Um, and what's that place? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't get, out. I don't get out of the city that much. <laughs> What made these places quite memorable for you? Uh, I enjoyed Tagaytay. It, uh, it was a lot cooler, cooler there. Okay. Um, last time I was there, we went to a craft beer uh, distillery. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, we like spent the whole day in the garden like, with the owner, and like, it was brilliant. Yeah. Uh, nice cool day. Uh, and the Gupan, they had, yeah, they they were famous for the bangus. Right, so yeah. got to, we got to try the the real local bangles in that uh, up there. 
So Lovely. any other, yeah, any other places that you'd like to go to or you're looking forward to try their delicacies? Oh, I'd love to go everywhere. It's just time. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the chef time, it's, it's really, you know, hard yeah. to find. So, um, uh, go yes, go ahead. Sorry. I was going to say, no, because we work mainly around when everyone else is off. So you're always off on a weekend. Well, chefs have to work on a weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, like during the holidays, uh, I say Christmas time, like everyone goes out for a meal at Christmas. Well, all the chefs are going to have to work at Christmas. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. So unless, like, you, you guys like make us... You guys make our belly full. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and warm. And, uh, and warm. Say, you know, cause if, unless the missus fancies going on a trip on a Monday or Tuesday, then you know, that's the only time available. Yeah. yeah. So wow. thank you so much for your dedication to this craft. I mean, oh, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that a lot of families appreciate what you do for them on Christmas or on any other holidays. So uh, I just want to ask you, Chef, is there any Filipino dish that you haven't tried yet, but you look forward to trying? Um, no, I, th I think I've tried most of them. Oh, I'm, sure that I'm, sure, uh, no, I'm sure there's plenty I haven't tried because I haven't been around that much. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I'd, I'd love it all. I know that. All. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, let me let me name you like about three dishes, and let me know where's the best place that you've tried this. Uh, so oh, I can't. Can I like <laughs> plug other restaurants? Like that's fine. Yeah, just mention it, mention it at the top of your head. What about? Um, okay, let's say let's go deep. Let's say kinilao. Where's the best kinilao that you've ever tried? Uh, Makati. Makati. Somewhere. Yeah, I'm not that's saying a name. <laughs> yes, it's okay. That's fine. That's fine. But that's that's one place that we could actually dive into. Like we can go for a kinilo mm. hunt. Do you like kinilo, mm. Emil? Uh not not fun of it. <laughs> I'm not not really fond, of, fond it. of it. But yeah, from where I'm from, we're pretty proud of our kinilo. Um, what else? Um, what other uh, dishes do you know, Emil? Well, no, the most I think the most simple and lovable by everybody. <laughs> Adobo. I knew that is the best adobo. <laughs> no, because oh. I love adobo. You know, I could eat adobo every day. But where is the best adobo you ever tried? I think everyone would say at home. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. The Filipino yeah. home adobo is the best in the market. Yeah. Yes. You can't say I make the best. No, my mom makes the best. My mom makes the best. Mom. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, what are the other food that we haven't mentioned yet? What about roast chicken? The best roast chicken that you've ever tried. Lechon manok. Mm. Mm. Oh, I have one. Oh, yeah, there's a place here in BGC. Uh, I had it. Yeah. Somewhere in BGC. That's yeah. so interesting. Um, I have a brand too, but I cannot say the brand. Yeah, we can't say the brand. Somewhere in, oh my gosh. Yeah, I've never yeah. thought that the best chicken or the best roast chicken would actually be in, in you know, uptown. where, yeah, in uptown, somewhere where I near, was. near, yeah. near That's uptown. Yeah. Man, yeah. I yeah. think we have to yeah. have a, a road trip. <laughs> we need to have, well. yeah, we need to have like a dish of the day and then we're just going to go to the best places. Okay, this one. Mm. What about Bulalo? Where's the best oh, place that I know. ever tried? Um, oh, I know. I'm not really a fan of that. You know, I, I like it, but uh, not that much. Um, can't think, sorry. You actually, <laughs> you actually said that one of the places that you always go is Tagaytay. Yes. But... On the way to Tagaytay, there is a place, it's a small house, and that's for me the best bulalo you can find in town. Oh, okay. yeah. Do you know that, Mandy? I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> you said house, so okay. <laughs> they do bulalo and they do fried bangus, but like, you know, the thick bangus, the big one? Oh, it's that place. We always stop when we go to Tagetai. Oh, well, that's not, to not the, Tagetai again. It's bigger, than, it's bigger than a small house, no? Yeah. The place you mean? It's not not like a restaurant, but not even mm. like a small house. Yeah, yeah but it's a course. house. It's, it's a, a house. 
<laughs> so we want to know what are in the chef's list. Your personal comfort food. Would yeah. you like? Would you be able to share that to us, please? Um, it's always been a sandwich. It's always a been a sandwich. sandwich. Yeah. What What's the reason behind? Easy to make. Yeah. There's okay. Like no cooking. A minimal washing up. Yeah. <laughs> Is that? A, I, I really wanna. I really want to ask this question to, to Mike. Mike, is it true or this is a myth that chefs actually, when they are at home, they don't like cooking? Uh, I think it probably depends how much you've cooked like, in the, like <laughs> that day, day or, or that week. Yeah. Um, but no, I think if in the right context, it's enjoyable. You know? Okay. So like Christmas time, I used to do what, like six, seven, eight course meal. Uh, for the missus uh, uh, obviously I'm not going to do that every day you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah also because if you don't cook for your family on Christmas then you know they might going to kick you out <laughs> you're the only chef of the house and then you don't cook <laughs> but it's like it's like here yeah, like for me every Christmas I also cook about five to six dishes for the entire family wow but because Cooking is my passion. It's something that I love to do. I don't do it as a profession so that when I really cook for myself, for my family, you know, it just comes yeah, spontaneous. Yeah, it's always but special. For a chef that, you know, you do it every single day and then you go home and you still have to cook your own meal. Mm. So now I understand <laughs> why sandwich is your yeah. comfort food. <laughs> so yeah, I said no, no washing up. Yeah, no, no washing, washing up. up. So on times mm. that you feel like, you know, a little under the weather, that's the food that you'd like to go to? Um, no, nah, like if I'm not feeling that well, maybe uh, spinach soup. Oh, that's interesting. Ooh, yeah. Something healthy, yeah. Just to pep, pep myself up. But I'm very rarely sick, so... Yeah, yeah I think it's, a, it's one of the prerequisites of being a chef, right? You should rarely spinach be... Spinach soup, that's something new, huh? Yeah, I know. I've never heard of that before, except through Chef Mike. So, uh, would you would you mind telling us more about how this spinach soup is like? What it's like? How it's made? Well, well it's just like really good for you. So, like, when you're sick, that's, you should be eating like healthy and uh, nutritious uh, foods. Lovely. Yeah, well, see, we we learned something today. Spinach isn't mm. that abundant here in the Philippines, but I do know a certain type of spinach that's quite abundant and you know grows everywhere and it's called the malabar nightshade or um locally known as alubati <laughs> you think we mm -hmm. could replace it with that try it no. yeah maybe try. we can try it yeah you might not until you try <laughs> exactly i have a question for mike Mike, you know, I'm Italian mm. and, you know, I really have to ask this. What's your favorite See? Italian food? Sorry if this is not connected to choose penis, but because we have a chef and I'm Italian, I have to ask we, this. We What's all got to know. favorite Italian food? Yeah, most, yeah, most probably uh, carbonara. It yeah. just uh, carbonara. reminds me of uh, uh, so many happy memories from before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we don't want to go there, but uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Wow. I love carbonara too. And again, uh, the original carbonara, you know. Mm. What is the original carbonara, Emil? Can, would oh, you please enlighten the Let's Philippines? Let's have the chef. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. Eggs and a little bit of cream. Yeah. Eggs and cream. Yeah, so in some, mm -hmm. if you go to the south of Italy, carbonara is actually made with eggs, right? A little bit of butter and a lot of cheese. We, call it, we actually usually use pecorino cheese because Ooh. the cheese will come so melted inside when you cook it that it kind of gives the cream with the egg and then you mix it in the pasta. The added cream, that's actually the modern version. If you go to the north of Italy, a lot of people cook carbonara with egg, cheese, and a little bit of cream. Wow. But again, the egg are raw. Meaning when you, you mix the sauce and the egg has to be raw and then you just mix everything and it will cook. Mm. Yeah, I think, yeah, it'll cook eventually, right? With the heat That's from the right. pasta, from um, what whatever else that you're going to put uh, in. That's, That's awesome. Right. OMG. OMG. Lovely. Uh, we, we had the cream right at the end. 
when you take the pan off the heat, yeah. it's just to stop the eggs from like further cooking like and over scrambling. Wow. Yeah. It's making me dream of food right now. Oh gosh. <laughs> you wanted the chef on the show, that's what we get. <laughs> we get the mental picture of food. So uh, we still have a few minutes left. Uh, Mike, I just want to ask you, what would be, if you can nominate the top three favorite Filipino dish? So we talked about a while ago, dishes that you would wish to eat, but mm. we want to know the top three that you already tried uh -huh. and you would want to eat even more. Uh, not, well, uh, number one, definitely uh, the kari kari. Ooh, kari -kari. Uh, nice. yeah. That's something that. from a chef, yeah. Uh, um... Yeah, I've even like thought of like westernizing that, like just some mad methods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Like especially the bagong. Uh, oh, um, I don't like bagong. I don't <laughs> yeah. like bagong. Yeah. I started making my own, so it's uh, it's really nice. I think. Yeah, I mean, wow. you, you're the chef of shrimp bucket, so I guess <laughs> you can make your own bagong. So, yeah. what are the other two dishes? Oh, uh, what do we say? Um, so what oh, is the lechon. 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 Yeah. Okay. yeah. I think everyone loves that. And I think, um, I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe something like some crab, steamed crab. But steamed I suppose crab. that's common everywhere. Ooh, uh, seafood, yeah. So maybe seafood. Yeah. We can say seafood for your third. Yeah. I mean, uh, oh, yeah. Any, anything from shrimp bucket then. <laughs> <laughs> Of course. Last, menu, yeah. <laughs> yeah, one last question, Chef. Um, the Philippines has like different types of lechon, different uh, ways of cooking it. If you're going to give your um, special twist to it, how are you going to make it? How are you going to do it? Mm -hmm. hmm. uh, roll it in plenty of herbs and lemongrass and some really uh, pungent uh, uh, flavors. Uh, yes. uh, you know what we yeah. call that? In Italy, mushrooms, a duck cell, yeah. I don't know, just try loads of stuff. The, the spinach, way put spinach in there. Spinach. <laughs> spinach. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy, Mandy, the way you describe is actually, if you're looking at in Italy, it's the porchetta. Oh, porchetta, yeah. Porchetta mm. is like lechon, right? But, you know, it's mm. you know, there is tale, then there is spices, herbs inside, and then, you know. But mm. I think lechon, I mean, I've tried so many. I think lately, something that sells so much is the cochinillo. Right? Yeah. The, the oh, small, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. small the lechon. The little baby. The little baby. Yeah, little baby. And my favorite lechon would have to be the truffle lechon. Oh. Yeah, inside there's truffle and rice. Oh my gosh, I miss that. <laughs> Oh, hope oh. Christmas comes quick. <laughs> I think we, we should do a show, another episode where we just eat. Yeah, where That's we, it. we don't it's a know, mukbang. We just eat. Yeah, it's a mukbang. <laughs> when the, my quarantine's over, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, any I know anything you want to say to the young um, chef community in the Philippines? You know. Um, <laughs> that you know inspired to be like you one day oh yeah just don't give up uh, i know times are hard you know it's hard for everyone but um yeah soon we're gonna get out of this and then we can restart your, your careers again and uh yeah just always try and be better yeah. that's right you're, you're, you're only as good as the last dish you serve so Oh, that's oh, beautiful, yes. That, wow, that's a very yeah. nice quote. Yeah, you're only as good mm -hmm. as the last dish you served. That's awesome. Hey, that's lovely. Right? <laughs> Thank I you didn't so know much. you're like a, a poet <laughs> something, you know? You, philosopher, yeah? A philosopher, <laughs> wow. I think when you're in, I mean, <laughs> I think when you're surrounded with good food, you would appreciate life even better. So, yeah. Yeah, you know. I can see why he's always so enlightened and so chill. <laughs> oh yeah, Mike is a nice guy to you know stay you know go out with. Cool guy, cool guy. We had a lot of fun and a lot of food in the past. <laughs> oh, you, you're, you're very nice to go out with as well, Emil. <laughs> <laughs> right, Mandy. 
All right, we're, we're really looking forward to see you um, one day, you know, have some food and beer and what else with you. So um, thank you so much for your time, Chef. Yeah, thank you so no, much. Thank you for... Really appreciate Yeah, maybe one well, of these days and one of these weeks when we're finally free to go out, um, we can go visit yeah. you. And yeah. hopefully, oh, yeah. yeah, and hopefully we could get get a taste of that amazing cooking that you serve to everybody. Yeah. Uh, one of our stops on uh, one of the stops on your road trip. Yeah, yeah one of oh, those yeah. road trips. <laughs> uh, before you go, Mike, do you want to tell people where to find you and where to find the uh, shrimp bucket so that you know, just in case they want to mm. order? Uh, or... we we have six branches open at the moment: uh, BUC, Circuit Makati, uh, Trinoma, Katipunan, is that Police? Uh, Ortigas, was that in Sheridan and Green Hills? Awesome. Uh, we're opening one in Valero on Monday, and I think Manila Bay in about a week or two. Wow, lovely! Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a good And you guys yeah. are on any delivery app, right? So anybody yep. can just deliver. Okay, yeah, awesome, awesome. Available to all. Yeah, so these businesses actually don't just, you know, serve food. They also give jobs to plenty of people. So please do support. Mm. Thank exactly, you so yeah. much for your time, Chef. Uh, thank you for the invite. Thank I you. hope thank that you so have much. a great day ahead. Hope you have like more dishes and more people to fill with your food. Uh, there's still more work to do. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies right. and gentlemen, right. thank you. Chef Michael Hicks. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. You know, bye-bye. You know where to find the guy. And um, we hope that you stick around to uh, yeah. see more of what he has to offer. So this has been Mandy. Please follow this us at Mandy Nockham. And this is Emil. Please follow me at underscore Emiliano Romano. And the station at FM1PH where this live video is showing currently. We'll see you once again the next week. I hear that we're going to be having an actor, a theater actor, and a beauty really? queen lined up. That's yes. something to look forward to. That's always, right. always choose Pinas, ladies and gentlemen. Have a choose great Pinas. Day. The Philippines. Aside from our lovely islands, people from all over the world love coming here for the Filipino hospitality experience. Would you believe that's exactly one of the reasons why some of them yearn to stay? Well, there's actually more to it that we Filipinos don't even realize. Let's meet people who came generally from first world countries and have fallen in love with this beautiful, humble country of ours. This is Juice Pines.